Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for July 9th. This is for Tuesday. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. It could be a heads up to something coming. I always say if you don't know what a reading is, even more reason to pay close attention. I don't know why my camera keeps ending up down. I'm, I apologize. I don't, I, so I have it in a different position. Maybe that's why. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? July 9th, this reading's for anyone who's guided and resonates with it. Uh, he's got to go back in. What do we need to know? Okay, we've got two challenge cards, the moon and the world. So you might not see this coming. It's so funny because it almost feels like these are very short this month. I'm, I mean, this, the rest of this month, I should say because of my crazy schedule, but I'll still try and give you a full reading here. What else do we need to know? What are the messages? Okay, um, I'm trying to think of, can I get two more? I usually put three up top and three down bottom, but I think what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put all, whoa, look at that. Hidden behind the full reversed is the nine of cups. We're gonna talk about that. All the ones that were face down, I had to put back because we were ending up with too many cards here. All right, so let's talk about this. First thing that popped out was the moon in reverse. Here it is in the upright. In this deck, it's a cancer card, if that means anything to you, but that was reversed as a challenge. And the world is in the upright as a challenge. So this says to me, you don't really know this or you might not see this coming, but you're about to have a cycle change. You're going to love this. And I can see that because what was hidden behind, and I love the fact that it was completely hidden behind the fool. This says to me, when you do the fool, when you take some kind of action, you're bringing in nine of cups. You're going to be bringing in something you really want. So I'm going to be clarifying them together. Uh, we also have the seven of pentacles. This could have been like a long time coming, or you could have been putting a lot of effort into something. And now you're finally going to make the move, take the leap of faith. Something that you've been working on behind the scenes is now happening. Five of swords is reversed. Knight of cups is reversed. I feel as though, um, I want to look at this Knight of Cups first thing, but the Five of Swords says, you know, the struggle's been real, but it's in reverse now. Oh, I'm so sorry. This was Chakra Wisdom Tarot, and we're using this really cool deck of Idols Tarot. Really cute deck. All right, let's find out. Daily reading. Spirit and Angels. Anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? This is July 9th. Daily reading. Like I said, we're going to go fast, guys, because my schedule's cray cray. What do we need to know? July 9th, daily reading, one more shuffle for the collective, for anyone who's guided. All right, let's take a look. First thing I want to look at is the Knight of Cups reversed. Why is it here like this? Yeah, the Sun and the Tower reversed. This is the moment you're going to take off. This is the moment you're going to create the world. It just it, it's going to come in all of a sudden. It's like a um, new cycle. The sun is a cycle for me. The tower brings down the end of a cycle. So this to me says you are going to move forward. You haven't moved forward yet, but it's all going to happen at one time. Something. This has been like um, in the works or there's something about this. Or you just don't realize that uh, it's going to take off so fast when it happens. So this could be something like... Well, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Let's take a peek at it. Why is Seven of Pentacles here? The Five of Swords reversed again. You have, you might have dealt with this Five of Swords, and I mean really dealt with the Five of Swords for a long time, like the Hangman here, Seven of Pentacles, where you were stuck in these fives. You know, it could have been about work. It could have been a project you were working on. Um, with the eight of pentacles there behind it. But what I feel is that you were stuck in this situation that was, it was a heavy situation for a while. I mean, like I said, could be seven months, seven weeks, seven years, could be a different number, but the seven, it, this is one of my timing cards, the seven of pentacles, but you're out of it. Your difficult journey, the thing that you were stuck in that hadn't changed is now about over and it happens with something you're doing that causes 
the sun and the nine of cups and the world, the full, the action causes this change. All right, let's look at the five of swords. We've got it here twice, both in reverse, which is exactly the way we want to see it. Fives mean change. And when I see them in reverse like this, I feel times are getting much better. Tell me about the five of swords reversed here. Yeah, you were in these for a long time. The eight of wands, it's like some of you, it was eight years, not seven. But there's something here about, I was in this for a long time. Things, you know, I had to just stay in it. The hanged man was here. The five of swords, the eight of wands reversed. The fool reversed. You were just in it, but it's time to change. Eight of wands, or ace of wands, I'm sorry. Yeah. No more fives. Look at the five of wands right there. Remember what I said? Fives mean change. It, this change happens. You go, you come out of these fives and into your ace, into your new beginning, ace, full, nine of cups, world, by taking some kind of leap of faith here. So there's something that's going to happen. We got the full again. Let's look at it. Tell me about the full here with the nine of cups. I, and the cherry almost came out of the deck. Tell me about the fool here with the nine of cups. Why is the fool reversed with the nine of cups? Yeah, three of swords reversed. Tough times are done. I don't know what you went through, but it's like whatever it is, it's over with. Tell me about the fool reversed with the nine of cups in the upright. Yep, absolutely. So we've got the nine. Nope. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Swords. It's like you were stuck. Um, something about your foundation. This could have been your relationship. This could have been your home, your family. You've got, you know, the Four of Swords for me is a foundation card, but so is the Nine. Well, it's it's a number four card, um, which has to do with your foundation. But also the Ten of Pentacles could have to do with your foundation. You could have went through some kind of... Um, some kind of a loss or some kind of, um, let me look at it. Tell me about the three of swords with the 10 of pentacles and four of swords. It's like you healed from something that happened. So four of swords is healing from the three of swords that already happened. Okay. So let's look at that. What is the three of swords, four of swords here? What do we need to know? Three of swords reversed. Knight of Swords. Somebody could have lied. Somebody could have caused you problems. This is my liar, liar, pants on fire. And look at that five of pentacles. You could have been left out in the cold. So another five. So this already happened, by the way. This isn't something happening. The world sits right there in reverse. The same card. Let's look at it. You're, these fives mean there's definite change coming in. Well, we already knew that with the tower and the world and the fool. Tell me about the... Um, moon reversed as a challenge and the world in the upright which is exactly exactly the way we want to see these two cards where we now see the way forward the moon reversed and the world both as challenges the world's in the upright what do we need to know here for some of you you could um wow that's a lot but let's look at it the Fool's back again for the third time in this reading. The Fool. We've also got the Magician and we've also got the Nine of Wands. This is someone who um, is brave and willing to take the leap of faith and is will has all the tools they need. This is like I manifested this. So out of the rubble of something and that, that tower could have even been something that happened in the past. Like this happened knight of cups reversed towers so th this could have been someone who was a liar someone who you were involved with in some way a lot of stress with the nine of swords and a lie again with the queen of swords reversed so whatever this was i feel as though whoever this was he she they doesn't matter uh we've got everybody here there's something here about you surviving it and actually healing from it and actually um being able to put it behind you in some way but it's coming with this new cycle the sun is a new cycle for me the tower can be a new cycle for me the world is definitely a new cycle for me and again you are at you're about to 
turn the full in the upright. This is all happening like simultaneously where it's going to be this new mo this moment and it could come during lion's gate season if you're not subscribed please subscribe we're going to go into that in detail i'm going to guide you guys through a particular time of the year where dreams can literally come true nine of cups world sun things that you couldn't even imagine that would normally take a really long time can happen like in this accelerated time really quickly if you initiate them during the Lionsgate portal which is a spiritual and astrological event that's about to come up please do subscribe please click the bell and click also you don't miss this I, I don't ever bug people to subscribe to my channel but guys this is so important that you don't miss this crucial time of the year that is like a gift from spirit it's like spirit hands us a gift and says what are you going to do with it you can make miracles happen in your life, changes to your life that you could, you'll look back and say, this is, these are those changes that come out up in our life where we look back and go, wow, what a difference. How did this, I, on a dime, tower moment, right? It, on a dime, my life changed for the better. That's the kind of energy that the Lionsgate portal brings in. And it's for everyone, especially if you're a Leo, you are especially blessed, but everybody's blessed. It, it doesn't matter who you are. This energy is for everybody. So this energy really says to me, I was, you know, I felt a certain way and it's everywhere. Five of swords, five of swords, you know, this uh, five of pentacles. I felt a certain way about something someone did to me. It could have even caused this big tower in your life, but you've survived it and you've thrived and you've manifested new opportunities and you're about to, you're about to see them. And taking the leap of faith right at this time is going to be crucial. The time we're going to be talking about when we talk about the Lionsgate portal, I'll even be giving each sign of the Zodiac a Lionsgate portal reading, but I'm going to be talking about it from now until August 20th. And there's just a, a window of time where most initiation has to be put in. So stay with us subscribe like this video too please if you don't mind it helps the channel and my daughter and I both appreciate it I mean this is a free channel and the only way that we can grow it is if you guys are liking the videos and that's a YouTube rule not my rule all right so thank you so much you guys I appreciate you okay so this happens sometimes we had a message come through I haven't even cleaned up yet as soon as I clicked off another message came through for some of you this is someone who took advantage of you and ghosted you this left you out in the cold this healing but you have healed or are going through some kind of healing and you are going to thrive after you make a different move or a different decision in your life you are going to love the next steps the next cycle is going to be so much better so hold on to that thought i'm so sorry for those of you who went through this thank you so much everybody for hitting the like and for commenting i'd love to hear from you guys talk to you soon Bye bye